low. And welcome back to Taz Wells 12. You are again on my YouTube channel, which is Taz Wells 12. I am the host who is Tara Wells. Today's new video is gonna be a review on a makeup product. I'm trying to get a load of these more out because I know that you do like them and I want to review these products for you. But before we get into the video, I just want to say the nitty gritty stuff. So that is if you did like the video or did like the advice or any of the products I do show you, then give it a big, massive thumbs up because then I know that you like these videos and I can do them for future content and I want to do more of these makeup videos for you guys. If you want to join the little love family, then you are more than welcome by hitting the subscribe button to Taz Wells 12 and you can join the little love family. Also, if you want to see the newest video, then hit the bell notification button. And on my main page, there is a clickable link for Instagram and Twitter to check out them too, please, and follow and like whatever you would like to do. Last thing I want to say is that this video is not sponsored. I brought this all out of my own money. I just want to show you what the product looks like and what it does for its benefits. I think that is everything now. Let's get on into the makeup review. The product that we are going to review today is Viral Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Got this in 01 Very Black Noir. So it just looks like this. This is a packaging. Packaging is very, very nice actually. It's very Maybelline packaging with the pink, but I love this embroidered sort of stand out sky high detail on it love it love it love it and the brush looks like so this is what the brush looks like it's just a very smallish wand but you can see that it brings out it sort of goes down but out if that makes it like a curve in a way that's it and it's just a plastic wand very nice why i joined on this bandwagon of this i didn't actually want to buy this to be in because I saw it on TikTok like everyone else. It looked amazing, absolutely it looked amazing. But then I went on to Superdrug that I normally buy my makeup products from and the reviews on there were not the greatest. That kind of put me off. Then my friend texted me and said, this mascara is right up your street. And I said, yeah, I know, but I looked on Superdrug and the reviews were not great. So I turned around to myself and thought, you know what? I do reviews on YouTube, so let's take my own advice and look at some other YouTube reviews. And that's what I did. And the reviews on YouTube were a lot better and a lot more in detail than it was on TikTok. TikTok's like a couple of seconds video, to be fair. But yeah, it was a lot better on there. So if you ever do want to see something, YouTube is the best. I'm not trying to promote that, but I did it for my own self and it worked. I took the bandwagon and ordered this off of super drug and they actually had a deal on the time so that was really good too so i actually saved some money on this i think that is everything that i need to explain about this so i think the best thing is i'm going to clip my hair up now and we are going to review this one side i am going to review this mascara on here on its own do a couple of layers so do one layer do two layers do three layers like loads of people other people have done and I'm gonna do all the, the probably on this side or one of the sides. And then a second eye, I am gonna do how I would do my normal makeup look. So if I was gonna like a night out or a day or somewhere nice for a meal, this is how I would do it. So normally I would layer one mascara and then layer another one on top. That's how I would normally do it. I normally always use two mascaras. I'm gonna try that on the other eye. And what I'm gonna use with that, this mascara, the Maybelline one, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is expensive, but this is nice. I think it's nice. A lot of people don't like it. I don't know why, but this mascara is nice. It's very expensive, but it gives me the volume, I think, in my opinion. We can see when we're doing the reviews. Let's start on, like I said, this eye with the Maybelline 
Lash Sensational Sky Height Mascara. So it comes out the wand. So let's just try it. All right, we'll do one layer first. And then another after, if that makes sense. So I try and get it right at the bottom of the lashes and drag up. So that's the first sort of coat. So you can see that it's making more of a difference than what my lashes are doing. Not the greatest. I haven't got the greatest of lashes, but we are going to keep going and I will show you what the second layer is like now. So again from the bottom to the top again that is the second so you can see a lot more difference here we're just going to let this dry for two or three seconds because i've seen that kind of makes it the best but you need to be a little bit careful that you're not going to go into spider legs too because and it's all clumpiness once i've done the third layer on top i will do it on the bottom so we can see have a look at the difference and have a look at both eyes i has not got any mascara on this one has and you can see a big difference we're going to do the third layer and you literally have just got to get it to the ends i'm drawing literally all over myself that is the third layer i come a little bit closer so you guys can see like i said my lashes are not the greatest i'm not going to build up anymore because literally you can see that sort of clump together and it's not the greatest if that makes sense i'm just gonna do the bottom lash now they won't need as much coat in there we go that's a top and bottom lash done which i think doesn't look too bad if i bring it back my lashes are not great at the moment i've been trying to condition them anyway bear with me for that but they have given me a little bit of volume to normally what i would normal have obviously that's my normal eye with no mascara and no nothing on it that's a eye with some of it on so you can see where some of it has lifted and some of it's not. You could even get your finger like a lash lift. Oh, it's still very, very wet. It's still very wet. So you could probably place it in where you wanted to. If it was still a little bit wet, you could probably like, sort of give that lift, if that makes sense. There you go. So it kind of made it a little bit different. So now we're going to use this eye. But we're going to firstly put the Too Faced Mascara one on first, just to give me that volume. And then we'll go over with this one secondly. I'm going to open the Too Faced one now. Face one. One looks like that. So you can see it's very light. It goes like this and like that. And that's what gives you the volume. I'm going to do this one first. I'm trying to use here because this is my mirror. And then I'll show you guys after. This is what I normally do, it's just over like that. Volume, volume, volume. You can absolutely see that volume like that and just go like that. Can you see that? That's why this mascara works for my eyes. Now, as that's a little bit wet, go over the sky high one. And we're just going to go like this, like we normally do. And I haven't put anything different on these, no nothing. So we're just going to let that sink in again very, very shortly. And then I'll go on with another layer. Same sort of effect another second layer 
we just want it to wiggle to the top like so and there we go now we can see a massive different effect so you can see this one like i said the two face mascara does work brilliant on my eyes i don't know why i seem to get like a nice good effect where well, this one is nice but it's not as nice as this one but you can judge if i show you so this is just a sky high mascara nice gives me volume gives me the lashes this one is both so this is the Two Face one with the volume and then the Sky High one as length. I would say that probably does. So that's a good combination. As we're reviewing only this mascara, I think this one's pretty good. But from the looking of here, coming back, if I come back, you can majorly see that this one makes a massive difference. This one the sky high one on its own i would probably only do if i wanted i probably wouldn't put three layers on because three layers have made it a little bit like clumpy and i don't like that sort of look and no one does i think this one i will use on like a casual basis on its own it's worked really well with the two face one i will definitely still be putting this in my makeup bag because it literally gives the length of the volume one so that's why i use two mascaras because i get one for volume and one for length and i think that's worked really good it's very versatile it works with another mascara it works on its own but it's more casual on its own I definitely think that it's worked well with the two face one more than it has really on its own but eyelashes are all different on your eyes not each eye is the same sort of eyelash so just bear that in mind you cannot if it, unless you're very blessed and you have nice eyelashes then you are so so lucky the last little verdict of the end of this review of the maybelline new york lash sensational sky high mascara i am going to put this in my makeup bag i absolutely love it I think like it's good for a casual look and it's good for like if you want to build it up too with a different mascara i think it's really really nice i still like it and i would definitely buy it i definitely buy it at the price i did because i've got a deal on it but i would probably buy it anyway but i seem to not go through uh mascara so much because i literally use two i use them all the time even when i'm using fake lashes seems to just work for me everyone is different on mascara do not take everyone's word for it you have to, sometimes you do have to try a lot of mascaras to see what works for you best i'm definitely going to put this in my makeup bag so it's definitely worthy this has come to the end of the video i hope that you liked the little review on this i thought i might as well join the bandwagon and review this mascara like everyone else has if you did like the video then please give it a massive thumbs up like i said if you like the video or any other content i've got on this channel then please subscribe to taswells 12 and join the little love family because you are more more than welcome so please come and join like i said give it a comment down below tell me if you like the mascara or you don't or what verdict you do think of the mascara i am not sponsored in this video at all I have brought that out of my own money and that is everything. Hope that you liked the video. If you have, then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching as always. Thank you for supporting. Have a lovely day or a lovely evening and I will all see you soon. Bye.